So finally, we are headed towards proving Urisson's metrization theorem. So let's begin with some definitions. Uh, right. So topological space. space x is said to be second contour if it has a basis b whose cardinality is countable. Okay. Yeah. So uh, R n is second countable. Because uh, we can take uh, open subsets of the type balls uh, A of radius epsilon, where epsilon belongs to rationals and this vector A belongs to Q, right? So this is this forms a basis, and this is going to be a countable collection. So therefore, R n is second countable, and uh, if x is second countable. then every sp subspace of x is second countable. Right. Uh, okay. So next let us define a regular space. So topological space X is said to be regular if given a point X and a closed subspace A then there exists open sets u and v such that x is in u, a is contained in v and u intersection v is disjoint. Right. So earlier we had seen the example of normal topological spaces. So regular is weaker than normal and obviously every normal topological space is regular. So what we need is given a point x and this closed subspace A, we should be able to find a neighborhood around X and a neighborhood around A which are disjoint. Okay. So, obviously, normal implies regular. Okay. And for normal subspaces, we had proved the following lemma. Uh, we have a similar, we had proved a lemma similar to the following one. So, analogous, a similar proof. Okay, let me just write the statement first. Let X be a regular space. And let x in u where u is open right so then we can find an open subset v such that x is in v 
which is contained in B closure, which is contained in U. Right. So, what do we have? We have a point x over here and we have an open subset U. So, then we can find a smaller neighborhood of x which is V such that the closure of V is completely contained inside U. Right. And the proof uh, we had proved a similar lemma. for normal spaces, right. So, there instead of x, we had a closed subset A. We had a closed subset A and an open subset, open set U which contained A. So, imitate that proof, the proof there, okay. So, the main theorem we want to prove is the following. The main theorem of this lecture, a regular and second countable space is normal. Okay, so let us prove this. Right. So let B denote a countable basis. for x. So, let us say our space is x, right. So, x is second countable. So, that means by definition x has a basis whose cardinality is countable, right. So, let c and d be two disjoint closed subsets. Right. So, we need to find open sets u and v such that c is contained in u, d is contained in v and u intersection v is empty. Okay. So, first we do this as follows, fix for x in D, not fix, sorry, uh, using the lemma using the lemma we can find uh, an open set V such that X belongs to V, V is contained in V closure and V closure is contained in X minus C, right. So, uh, D is contained in X minus C since C and D are disjoint, right. So, So, our picture is something like this. We have two disjoint open subsets C and this is D, right. So, D is contained in the complement of C which is this, right. So, we just choose any x in D and we can find a neighborhood V such that its closure is also contained in x minus C. This is using the lemma, mm, okay. So, clearly we are allowed to shrink V if necessary. Yeah. So, thus replacing V by a smaller basic open subset we may assume. So, we have a basis for our topology and uh, that V is in V, right. X is in V, so that means that uh, there is a basic open subset which contains, so X is in V, so there is a basic open subset which contains X and is completely contained inside V, yeah. So, uh, therefore, 
we can replace our v by a smaller uh, basic open subset which contains x and the same condition can, will hold. Okay. So, we can do this. for each x in d right. So, for every x, so what have we done? So, for every x we get a basic open set v sub x such that so, this is in D. Such that V sub x closure does not meet C. Okay. So, since B is countable, we may enumerate enumerate this collection V x. Right. So, we can just number these this this is a, a subset of a countable set and therefore, this has countable cardinality. So, we can just say this v ends for n greater than equal 1 right. So, now define w n to be equal to the union i equal to 1 to n v i's right. So, then what do we have? We have this w 1 is a subset of w 2 and so on it is an increasing chain of open increasing chain of open subsets to d is contained in the union of these w i's right. Uh, this is because as every x in d is in some v i right and the third condition is that w enclosure this equal to union i equal to 1 to n v i closure sorry w enclosure intersection c intersection c. Now, this is a finite union and therefore, uh, the closure will go inside v i closure intersected c and each v i closure intersected c is empty. So, this is empty right. So, we can do the same for points of c So, in the above we were uh, doing this for points of D. So, we can do this for points of C. We get once again this increasing chain of open subsets C is contained in the union of these and 3 u n closure intersected with d is empty. Okay. Okay. So, uh, note that this implies that d is contained in x minus u n closure. So, this implies that when we intersect both sides with w, we get w n intersected d is contained in w n minus u n closure. Right. So, this implies that the union w n intersected d is contained in the union w n minus u n closure. Now, w n is open and u n closure is closed. So, when we look at w n minus u n closure, this is an open subset right and uh, this union is equal to uh, 
union n greater than or equal to 1 w n intersected with d, but as d is contained in this union, this is going to be equal to d, right. So, sim so thus we get d is contained in the union of this open sets and similarly C will be contained in the union of U n minus W n closure. Okay. So, we claim that these are the required open subsets. Yeah. So, we so we just have to show that the intersection is empty. So, we claim that the intersection is empty, right. If not, there exists i comma j such that uh, w i intersected with u j. is now empty, right. Uh, so, so let us assume that first assume that i is greater than or equal to j. W i, W j is contained in W i and U j is contained in U i, right. So, if we take an x in the intersection, this intersection right. So, this implies that uh, x is in x is in u j, but x does not belong to u i closure, right. But this implies that x is in u j, but and x does not belong to u i, yeah, which is a contradiction. Right. So, similarly, if j is greater than or equal to i, uh, then we will have w i is contained in w j. So, which will imply that x belongs to w i and so this will imply that x does not belong to w j closure x that is x is in w i and x does not belong to w j which is a contradiction. So, thus the intersection is empty. So, this completes the proof of the theorem. So, we will end this lecture here.